Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Raj Raj Reviews channel, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black series, Migs Mayfield Morak from the Mandalorian line. Look at the front of the box, you get the figure that is included along with the accessory, you also get the name of the line the character is from, along with their name down here. And on the side of the box you get this amazing artwork of Migs Mayfield, and like I mentioned before, By adding more figures from the same line, you can create a mural. So here's Mix May Fields alongside Boba Fett. And on the back of the box, you get a bigger portrait of the character, a description, a number which falls into the line, and a bunch of little warnings. Here's the side of the box, the bottom, and the top. So I'll go ahead and open them up, and we can see what's inside. Here he is, I'll get him in plastic. And here he is out of the box. And looking up close, he looks ready for combat. He looks so cool with the outfit and these different gray colors going throughout his armor. Looks really neat. And I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. Look at the helmet. It looks very neat. He has this black visor and it's in this sort of like army green or like this gray color that goes throughout the armor. And that's the main color that they have on the helmet. And of course you can see it, there's some smudges going throughout it. Looks really cool. He has some nice detail as well. And it's a really cool helmet. And of course, this is one of the accessories. But since he's already wearing it, I'll go ahead and take it off. And, by doing so, reveals the face. And now going over the head. As you can see, it looks really good. And they did an amazing job with the photo tech. Uh, he has some printing here with the stubble on the... Uh, Facial hair, he has some printed eyebrows, printing in the eyes, looks really cool. And here's a good look, going around the head, just like that. And of course, he does have a joint here at the top of the head, so you get quite a bit of movement. Here side to side, all the way up, and all the way down. And with the helmet, it doesn't mess around with the articulation at all. And as you can see, you get the same amount. Side to side, all the way back, and all the way forward. Look at the torso, it looks very nice. As you can see, it has this chest plate, and it has some smudges as well. And here in the back, he has his back plate, and he does have a ball joint here at the waist. So, here side to side, all the way back, and all the way forward. Look at the arms. The arm does stick out about there. It goes all the way around. His elbow goes up about there. He has a swivel at the elbow, and he has articulation at the wrist and at the hand. So here's all the way down, all the way up, and there's the swivel. The other side as well, arm sticks out about there, goes all the way around. His elbow goes up about there. He has a swivel at the elbow, and he has articulation at the wrist and at the hand. So here's oh, all the way down, all the way up, and there's the swivel. And of course, here on the right side, uh, near the shoulder pad, he has this red, like, uh, marking designating his rank. Look at the waist. He has this black belt, and it has some gray pouches right here in the front. And he has this, like, uh, looser plastic for the bottom part of his outfit. And here in the back, there's nothing much. But here on his right hip, he has a, um, holster for his blaster. Look at the legs. The legs do go out into a split position. They do go out into a sitting position, and they go back about there. And he does have a swivel on both of his thighs. And look at the knees, he does have double knees. So they go all the way up right there. And look at the boots, they look really cool. As you can see right here, they have the uh, sort of like army green or like dark gray um, for the armor. And then there's some white splotches of like dirt going around the boots, which is really neat. The feet do point down about there. They do point up about there. And he has rock wrinkles, so he's in cool action poses. And looking at the accessory, he comes with a blaster pistol. Look at the blaster pistol, it looks very neat. It has this um, solid black color for the main body, and then it has a scope here on top. To put on the pistol, all you wanna do is just slide in the grip. Turn to the trigger finger, just like this, and you're good to go. Or if you're not going to use the pistol, 
you can easily slide uh, the pistol inside the holster just like this. It's very snug and will not come out. So as an overview of the figure, right off the bat, I'm going to say that Hasbro did a pretty good job. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to review the figure, um, but overall, I'm really impressed with what Hasbro has done. Um, everything from the figure itself to the accessories, everything's spot on. While I reviewed the figure, um, I had a little bit of an idea of what I would use him for, and I would actually put him with my, like, Andor sort of, like, area because of, like, the Aldani heist and them wearing this type of armor. It uh, kind of reminded me of that. So, yeah, if you want, you know, tank troopers or things like that, this is actually a really good figure to invest in. So, yeah, overall, I do recommend this figure. And something to do at the end of these reviews... is show you how to display my figures, having the box in the back, and the figure in the front. But I am going to leave it here and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content that you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.